Hey guys, it's me again. Today I'm going to show you guys how to do this 3D text. So first we're going to want to change the font and I'm going to choose this one font called Vogue. Go to the horizontal type tool, top left, and we're going to click in the middle and I'm just going to put want shift enter this question mark. So now I'm going to go to the paragraph section and align it towards the middle and click the align horizontally and align vertically. I don't want this big gap. I hate it and I don't want it there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to highlight everything with the horizontal type tool and I'm going to go to this little thing that says set the leading and I'm going to move it until there we go like that. So there's like a little gap. You guys are probably like, what are you doing right now? This is not even a 3D text. But before you dislike the video, create a solid by pressing Control Y and make sure it's black or something, whatever, it doesn't matter. Click OK and we're going to put the effect called Element. It is a paid plugin and go to the Custom Layers tab, Custom Text and Map drop down. Click on Path Layer 1, None, and then click on the text. So now if we go to Scene Setup, it's going to look like this and just simply click on Extrude and we should have this so far. We can click and drag to rotate it. And now click on the drop down of the text. Click on bevel one. I'm going to go to materials, physical. We could either go chrome text or I like to use the environment tab and go to studio blurred. This one is one of my favorites. And finally, what we're going to do here is we're going to go to the extrude bevel tab and just extrude it out a little bit. I think that looks good. Around five ish. Click on OK and disable the text. And as we can see, it's pretty far away. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a camera by pressing Control Alt Shift C. Click on the preset 15 millimeter. Click OK. And now we're going to make a null object. Press Control Alt Shift Y. Click on the camera pick whip and we're going to drag it to the null. And now it's paired. We're going to go to the null object. Click on the 3D. Click on the little drop down arrow. Go to transform. And we're going to go to the position tab and just scale it inwards like that. Now we should have this. So as we can see, it doesn't look that great. Obviously, we're going to go back into the element effect and we're going to go to render settings, go to ambient occlusion, turn on enable AO, click on it. And you see where it says SSAO, click on the two and just drag it all the way to 50. Now we should have this insane, like realistic 3D. Go back to the element effect, click on group one at the top, go to particle look, click on multi object, click on enable. We're going to click on the rotation tab and click on this stopwatch and we're going to go to displace xyz and click on this stopwatch as well we're going to go to the first stopwatch and we're going to change that value to minus 63 and right below that we're going to change the zero to one we're going to go a little bit over the one second line and we're going to change the minus 63 to 54 and the one right below it to zero go a little bit over the two seconds and click on 54 and change it to zero so now we have something that looks like this doesn't look that good. So we're going to highlight everything by dragging, clicking on F9 on the keyboard, go to the graph editor and click on the point below. And we're just going to drag this a little bit ahead. Let me zoom in a little bit. So it goes a little bit fast like this and just mess it to your liking. But I think this looks pretty good. But I'm going to move this last point a little bit more down so we can get something more smooth. And I'm just going to mess around with the graphs. All right, I think that looks pretty good so far. So now let's get into the stylizing. To spice up the text, I'm going to be using my CRT overlays pack. I highly recommend it. It's just drag and drop and it makes your footage look like CRT. So I'm going to drag in the CRT 36 and I'm also going to drag in CRT 18. I'm going to scale the image to the right size so it can fit properly and to the other one as well. Go to toggle switches and modes. Click on the track mat on for both of them. And we're going to change the blending mode to overlay for both. So now instantly we should have this look. I'm going to create a adjustment layer by pressing control alt Y. I'm going to add in deep glow, but if you guys don't have deep glow, you guys can use a normal glow or any other glow that you guys have. For this tutorial, I'm going to be using a deep glow and I think that looks pretty good already. So I'm just going to like mess around with the settings and I'm going to add in another adjustment layer and I'm going to add in my VHS preset. I'm going to leave a link down in the description for absolutely free so you guys can download that. And I'm going to drag the adjustment layer below the CRT overlays. Drag in the adjustment layer that has the glow and drag it right below the overlays. Now we should have something that looks like this. For the final touches, I'm going to add in motion blur to most of mostly all of the layers except for the overlay. And we should have this effect. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys in the next one.